hopefully this impacts every last one of us. Sorry about that. Um, so it's great to see y'all. Let's, let's continue to stand strong. Let's support the folks that are really on the front lines. Um, I, I Remember to reload your browser. That, uh, it's called the Equality Song. And uh, the young guy Patrick taught to me in his song that he made himself. And he explained that this is a quality song, it's about everybody's equality, but he said that it's something to share with everybody because we're all equal. So he really encourages it to be shared and to be spread around. And so I, I want to honor him and that he shared this song with me with the intention of sharing it with other people to bring it down here, especially in occasions such as this, when we're really reminded of our equality. And we're really reminded of how much we all share that is the same. That we all have these same equal needs not only as human beings, but as, as a whole ecosystem. So, um, here we go. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Hey, oh, hey. Hey, oh, hey. It's real simple, so just join in. If you if you can feel like you can sing it with me, sing it with me. Hey ya oh 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 hey ya oh 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 hey ya oh 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 hey ya eh hey ya eh hey ya oh
I'm, I'm getting ready to partake in a, de uh, a delegation to Hawaii next week. And I'm not going on vacation. I'm going with a delegation of indigenous peoples to promote the protection and the defense of sacred natural areas. Yeah. This is uh, something that people have been working on for many, many years, thousands of years. And this is an attempt to get international recognition for sacred natural areas. And as we're preparing, today I was talking to one of my close friends and allies, Patricia Walinga, who's an international representative, a dirigente in the Quechua people of Sarayaku. And she said, I, I keep seeing pictures of some of our friends. I saw a video of Dallas. And I saw Osprey was posting some photos. What's happening? So I was explaining to her what was happening. She was like, that sounds like what we're, that sounds like what's happening in Sarayaku. So I asked her if she would send a statement to, so that we can send to our brothers and sisters. And this is a part of a movement of communities coming together all over the world. We say from the Amazon to the Arctic, but it's all over the world. People are coming together to say, keep it in the ground. Keep it in the ground on public lands. Keep it in the ground on indigenous lands. Keep it in the ground on native lands. Keep it in the ground everywhere. So, some of you speak Spanish, right? So, lo voy a leer en español primero. Estimados hermanos y hermanas del norte, reciben nuestro fraternal y saludo solidarios con todo lo que están viviendo a raíz de la explotación de las industrias extractivas en, nuestro, en nuestros territorios, especialmente los hermanos Sioux, quienes están defendiendo el río Missouri. Nos sentimos identificados en la lucha por mantener el petróleo bajo el suelo y la defensa de la madre tierra y de la creación. Desde la Amazonía estamos con ustedes como pueblos, como hermanos guardianes de la selva viviente y vida del planeta. Patricia Gualinga, dirigente del pueblo originario Quichua de Sarayacu. ¡Que viva! ¡Que viva Sarayacu! Viva. Dear brothers and sisters in the north, we send you a fraternal greeting of solidarity for all that you are living and experiencing as a result of the exploitation of the extractive industries in your territories especially to our Sioux allies who are defending the Missouri River. We identify with your struggle to keep it in the ground in defense of Mother Earth and all creation. From the Amazon, we stand with you as indigenous peoples, as guardians of our living forests and our planet. Patricia Walinga. And we are going to Hawaii and wherever we need to go to promote the defense of the living forests, the defense of sacred natural areas of indigenous people's territory, which in fact have 80% of the remaining natural resources left on this planet. That's why so many industries and governments are trying to grab the indigenous people's territory. But we're not gonna let that happen, right? Yeah. We're gonna stand in solidarity with Standing Rock, with Sarayaku, with all the peoples of the world who are defending Mother Earth. Oh. She's a hard woman.
ruining our earth and our air and our water in the way that they're normally changed. We have run out of time. And so we invite you on each new moon to join us or on your own with your family and friends to pray for wisdom and guidance in how to move forward. Because we need that wisdom and guidance. We need help. We need to know which path is the correct path to take. And so you're invited to do that. And if you're here in the Bay Area, that happens at Cesar Chavez Park every new moon in Berkeley at six at seven seven thirty. Now the other requirement of that treaty is that every three months, on every equinox and solstice, we shut something down. Yeah. We shut something down that's harming the earth, the air, the water, and the soil, and all of our relations. Who's with us? Yeah. We need to start shutting this down with the love in our hearts for everything we hold dear. Our babies, our grandbabies, the air that we breathe, our favorite place on Mother Earth's belly. So we do it with love. We do it with the thinking that these people who are causing these harms, they're not our enemy. Our enemy is the way of thinking. The way of thinking that has forced them into this confused state where they think that they can fill their heart, that empty hole in their heart with money and property and stuff. And can they do that? No. That hole will never be filled that way. But it will be filled if we invite them to join us because we're for something important. We're for clean air, clean water, and clean soil. And who can be against that? Are we against that? No. Will we let them join us as we imagine this beautiful future that's just right there? It's just right there. Yes. It's, it's so close. Erin Dottie Roy says you can almost see it and smell it. So that's where we're going. Who's going with us? So I'll tell you a quick story until Valerie gets here. A couple years ago on the refinery healing walk, it was walk number two, where we walk from Martinez, where the Shell and Tesoro refineries are, to Benicia, where the Valero refinery is. And one of the women on that walk, she stopped. And she said, the oil talked to me. The oil spoke to me. It said that it has a job on Mother Earth, under her belly. It has work that it does. She said that it does not want to be extracted. That it is not our enemy. The oil is not our enemy. It doesn't want to be burned up, and it doesn't want to go into the air and cause problems. So we think about things in that way. We think about things that are all related, like we're related to each other. And this concrete is also part of Mother Earth. And how this air that we breathe is the same air that the dinosaurs breathe. And how this water that's in our bodies and in our air and in the ground and in the sky, that that's the same water that has always been here and that water has a memory. It has a memory of everything that's ever happened on Mother Earth's belly. Is that right, Carol? Do you have a few words you want to say? I feel like I'm taking up a lot of room waiting for Valerie. <laughs> Valerie, where are you? Huh? Sing a song? I can play her voice, but she sings on it. Doesn't look like our last speaker is going to show up. So uh, let's take the time to free Rand Sullivan here. So one of the things uh, that we wanted to do, and I'm sorry for Francisco. holding us up, is that Valerie Stanley is a uh, uh, Pomo from up uh, up north, and she lives up in Fort Bragg, and she's going to offer a California Indian song. 
and it's really important for us to have those clapper songs here in California territory and to send that energy to North Dakota to our relatives. So um, it's, um, I'm hoping, you know, she took it, she traveled far away today to come down here, so we don't want to give up her space to just do that. So I thank you guys for being really, uh, you know, really patient in that kind of way because we need to use those prayers in that song to send this way. And then at the uh, very end, we'll soon, um, uh, we're going to have the, uh, the drum take us out with the AIM song. Um, and so I'm really glad that our brothers are here. They have the drum here. They're going to do that kind of uh, work for us. In the meantime, I'm going to have Manny sing us a song. Um, oh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, Priscilla. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to let it go right here. Uh, it's I'm freezing, and i got to get oh, in the warm. Uh -huh. Believe it or not, it's really cold here in San Francisco. It's about 55 degrees. Anyway, I love you all, and I'll be seeing you real soon.